safety and fed up. I'm going to push this one out there quite simply because what I find is a lot of people get argumentative online. And one of the things I will say relating to this is there is a lot of stuff out there. Um, for example, if you're in that age group and feeling that you're fat, whatever, miserable, um, and it's predominantly because you need somebody in your life, whatever, I would head off to the Philippines. You'll meet somebody in no time. But, uh, but also, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I mean, JC from Holland, for example, is out in the Philippines. She's had a few relationships with some of the Filipino guys. So the point is, it's not a case of it's exclusive for men. And I do recommend to actually, if you've never been abroad, to actually just go and experience a new country. But I will tell you that what happens with a lot of guys is when they go to the Philippines and they see the difference in the sense that the environment is very different in, in relationships, in how people talk to each other, even just generally. It's a upbeat, happy place, even though there is a lot of problems in the country. Um, you will see that you're likely to be booking your next trip before you finish this one. Um, because you're likely to meet somebody you do find attractive, you do get on with, and you do have um, a connection with. But at the same time, I strongly advise don't marry day one. Don't commit to day one. Just get to know them. Getting to know somebody does not happen in an instant. It doesn't happen in a week. It doesn't happen in a fortnight. It takes time. Getting to understand the family and how the family are all interwoven and connected can take months or even a couple of years or longer. But it all starts with realizing that if you are looking to change your life and improve it and it's down to a relationship, it's very likely you'll, you'll get a better relationship heading to Asia and meeting somebody than you probably will in the UK, for example. Um, a lot of that's because traditional values does exist. And also with it, the understanding of the family unit, how things connect, etc. The stuff that is often broken in Western society today. Um, but it starts with a journey, and I do recommend doing it. And if you're fat, 50s and whatever, so what? Who cares? You only have one life, live it. And if people are stereotyping or saying this, who cares? If somebody's that concerned about what you're doing, what's so wrong in their life? Why do they have to poke their nose in yours? Thanks for watching.